moving in. Best we get used to that. You're the one who helped at the gate. Glad to have another sword. We might need it. I heard what happened. Thank you for protecting the child. If the druids are this far gone, then it's not just goblins we have to fear. So we can risk violence here, or face it for certain on the road. Quite the choice, isn't it? It's good of you to offer, but there's a whole army of goblins out there. We'd need an army of our own to escort us safely to Baldur's Gate. And while I don't doubt your abilities, you're no army. There may be a way, though. Goblins are ill-disciplined. It's unlike them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. The Blade of Frontiers has done what he can to help us prepare for the journey, and we are grateful. But it'll be a short journey if the goblins still own the roads. By the Triad, there is only one correct answer. Refuse him, and we sentence these people to die. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. The Watch or the Flaming Fist? Pardon? When we get to Baldur's Gate, where are we enlisting? I'm done <coughs> soldiering, Tilly. I'd like a clean start, but go with the Watch. <coughs> You're too honest. used to think the goblins would kill us the second we set foot outside. But after hearing what you did at the gate, well, I still think they'll kill us. But at least we can put up a fight. <laughs> there's optimism and then there's stupid, hun. Plenty of us fell to monsters already. I don't see the rest of us lasting long out there. But if you're so sure we will, why not put a little gold on the line? Excellent! And since I ain't one to leave a debt unpaid, that means we're destined to meet in Border's Gate. Looking forward to it. So many ways to die. Aradin's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. By all rights, he was a good man. I saw enough of him to agree. And I'm tired of good people dying. That's for sure. Glad you made it inside. Doubt we'll be safe here for long, though. There'll be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. Maybe, but we're not fighters. 
If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. If the road was clear, a ten days' walk, maybe? But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but... She kept gasping. Clawing at the arrow. That's what Zevlo said, too. I hope you're right. I want to help. I just didn't think it would feel like this. Good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone... poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here. Take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. You peer through the telescope. this. How much Whoa. further can I go? What's next? Squirrel lunges at your foot, a 
and bites it. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own, on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. She chatters back louder and at length tail rigid with irritation, she scampers off. gate the food freshest fish i've ever had feel like i don't care much. for fish red meat now that's a different matter rare as can be dripping well unless we find a cure you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough Place is this a path to redemption or a road to damnation? Hard to say, for your journey is just beginning. What would suit the occasion? Hmm, the words to a lullaby, perhaps. The mouse smiled brightly. It outfoxed the cat. Then down came the claw. And that? Love. Was that? <laughs> they do know how to write them in Cormir, don't they? Well met, I am Raphael. Very much at your service. Charmed, I'm sure, in more ways than one. We should have a chat, you and I, but not here. This quaint little scene is decidedly too middle of nowhere for my tastes. Come. There, middle of somewhere. The house of hope, where the tired come to rest and the famished come to feed lavishly. Go on, partake, enjoy your supper. After all, it might just be your last. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Well, far be it from me to disappoint. Mm. 
What's better than a devil you don't know? <laughs> a devil you do. Am I a friend? Potentially. An adversary? Conceivably. But a savior? That's for certain. Oh, a mere trifle. How dear is one's soul, really? A rhetorical question, of course, but let me venture an answer. It's worth very little with a tadpole in your head. One skull, two tenants, and no solution in sight. I could fix it all like that. And what is madness but a denial of reality? Still, I have a feeling you'll change your mind before it's changed for you. Try to cure yourself. Shop around. Beg, borrow, and steal. Exhaust every possibility until none are left. And when hope has been whittled down to the very marrow of despair, that's when you'll come knocking on my door. Hope. <laughs> Such a tease. I'll be around, watching you squirm like a tadpole through a nice juicy brain. All those pretty little symptoms, sundering skin, dissolving guts, they haven't manifested yet, have they? One might say, you're a paragon of luck. I'll be there when it runs out. Anything of use? Glowing eyes are rarely a good sign. Best be careful. Keep a blade close. Let's keep to the shadows. They won't see me coming. Hmm. Oh, this was more fun when he was screaming. Well, that ends not as bad as it could have. These boots have seen everything.
That's a friendly looking shadow. Rinthora's gonna skin us. No one knows about this damn weapon. Yeah, she'll kill us dead if we go back without it. We'll get the druid talking. Grove's got to be full of magic. That's why I've been stabbing all the way. Might be spies. My luck again. I'll just help myself. Don't mind if I do. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Wonder if the gods are watching me. His breaths are shallow, his wounds deep. He doesn't respond to your voice. Can't afford to stay idle. Take you. I've got a long road ahead. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought I was gonna die down here. It's my fault. I thought I'd given them the slip, but they followed me through the tunnel back there. I must tell the others what happened. I stepped careful. There are traps in these tunnels. And thank you again. At the ready. Welcome, rest. Maybe I need more pockets. A question for our master monster hunter. How would you approach killing a vampire? To start, 
lure it into the sun, drive a stake through its heart. Why? I'm just curious. Strange. It looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Who cares about that? The pig's dead, my friend. Staring at it won't bring it back. Come on. We'll never fix these brain worms if we stop and gawk at every piece of carrion you find. The boar seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. Examining the corpse, you see two small puncture wounds in its neck. And is it dead enough for you? I... It's been drained of blood with wounds in its neck. It's been killed by a vampire. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to worry you. They are ferocious creatures. But don't worry, I'll keep watch tonight. We won't have to worry about nocturnal visitors. Now please, let's go. People up ahead. Something's wrong. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. Hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will... She... She... Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen, like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. I don't know any druids. We know that all too well, ma'am, but... The Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. We don't know what they look like, but... Anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. You! Brenna! Kill her! Just like old times. The blade will not bend.
should search that corpse. resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here, something your mind craves. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. to see what new horrors waiting for us. Thanks, Rufa Moore. 